how many times do you need to shuffle a deck of cards to make it truly random? How much uranium does it take to build a nuclear bomb? And how does your phone know what you're about to type? These seem like completely different mysteries, but they're all connected by a bitter feud between two Russian mathematicians over a century ago in Imperial Russia. It all started with a simple question about probability. This mathematical battle would accidentally create the atomic bomb Google's search algorithm and the artificial intelligence in your pocket. I'm about to tell you the most incredible story in mathematics. And by the end, you'll know the exact answer to all three questions. Meet Pavel Nekrasov, Moscow's most powerful mathematician. Deeply religious, he believed math could prove free will and the existence of God himself. His rival, Andrei Markov, the atheist perfectionist who thought mixing religion with math was intellectual blasphemy. For 200 years, mathematicians believed in independence. Each coin flip is completely separate from the last. Nekrasov argued this independence proved free will. Every human decision is a fresh, independent choice. Markov was furious. He set out to destroy this argument by proving that dependent events could still follow mathematical laws. His weapon? Russian poetry. Markov analyzed 20,000 letters from Pushkin's masterpiece, and he discovered something nothing short of revolutionary. If the previous letter was a vowel, the next letter was 66% likely to be a consonant. The past was influencing the future. He discovered what we now call a Markov chain. Fast forward 40 years to World War II. Scientists are racing to build the world's first atomic bomb, but they have a terrifying problem. When a neutron hits uranium, it splits the atom, releasing more neutrons in a deadly chain reaction. But will the reaction sustain itself or fizzle out harmlessly? Enter Stanislaw Ulam, a mathematician stuck on this exact problem. Frustrated, he started playing solitaire and wondered, what are the odds this game can be won? Instead of calculating, he played hundreds of games and counted the wins. Random sampling. This gave him a brilliant idea for the neutron problem. Simulate thousands of neutron journeys using the world's first computer treating each neutron 